for a little bit. <laughs> All right, guys. So we're here in the hotel. If you could see, we're just in the hallway. A man doesn't want to be on. <laughs> Sorry. All right. All right. Go ahead, babe. She's walking in. We'll really tell you where we are, but we haven't been in. Lights. Go ahead. <laughs> And the bathroom all lit up. Gorgeous. Isn't it? And the other rooms don't have the 20 foot ceiling. There I am. <laughs> Look at this. Check this out. Check this out. Wow. <clears throat> Let's check out the balcony. What do you think? What do you guys think? Wow. There we are. Watch this stuff. Nice balcony. What do you think? It's amazing, absolutely amazing. <laughs> All right, so if you've known where we are, please do not say it. <laughs> but if you guys are watching and you did not know where we are, go ahead and put in the chat, where do you think we're at? What city? I'll give you another minute before we share where we are. But, I will say, somewhere fancy. We'll be laying out tomorrow, here. But, absolutely beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. The bathroom. I'm social, social, social. I can watch Christina shower. Oh, bath, bath, okay. Later, okay. So, what do you think? I love it. This is great. I just can't wait to relax. Bubble baths, sleep in, enjoy Miami. And she told you where we are! <laughs> she slipped up and she said it. She told you. So we are in Miami. Um, so let me flip this. Alright, so we are, what? Oh, here. Hold on. So. I'll just share with you. Hold on, let me say bye. Hey, appreciate you. Thank you for your help. Hold on, he's got to give us some info. Pool party tomorrow from 11 to 7. The spa opens at 8 a.m. Try to go by the new gym, the new spa, Bamford Spa. Spa and gyms are going to be amazing. Spa means like massage, all that good stuff. 13 treatment centers, so there's a lot of stuff going on. Speaking my language. Do you want to get us a massage tomorrow? Of course. Of course. The rooftop pool party from 11 to 7. Okay. If you go out to the beach, you start on the third floor. They have amazing Mexican food. It's called the Sandbox. Okay. Listen so at the end of the pool, you go to the second floor pool, Cabana pool. You go to the first floor, private beach before you get out to the beach. Nice. Chairs are already included. Okay. You have two chairs at the pool. You have two chairs at the beach. And with an umbrella, we have Tesla car service from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. So whenever you need a ride, you let us know at the door. The okay. car will drop you off for free. Okay. Wow. Um, like even like whole loops? Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'll show you guys if you guys are just tuning in. A room. OMG. Oh, what's this? Filtered water to drink? Coffee's free. Mini bar's not free. <laughs> Safe is right here. And then these are free to take home when you get home. I know it's cold and not later. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. So. This is where we're staying. We're in beautiful Miami. I'll be in there, she'll be in here. <laughs> we'll both be in there. Did you hear him say Tesla car service anywhere we want to go tomorrow? What does that mean? It means a Tesla <clears throat> can pick us up and take us wherever we want to go. Okay, I heard you can, uh, <laughs> you don't have to drive. I just think it's really cool that they got these lights down here. So. Beautiful, beautiful. So here's what I will say. I had a client, if you guys are tuning in for the first time, this is part three. We left some of you in suspense in part one and two. But uh, here's the deal. You know, one of our clients, one of my clients, had the, uh, the biggest heart to fly Christina and I down here to Miami so we can help their team, help him with his vision and whatnot and whatever else we need to serve. And also, he's 
you know, looking to help serve us too in the same way. But anyway, you know, it's amazing when you guys learn to master your craft. And look, I'll be the first one to tell you, I'm, I don't have my craft mastered. I'm not Tony Robbins. I'm not, you know, you know who He's else? Joe Moffitt. Yeah, I'm, I'm just Joe Moffitt, <laughs> right? I, I'm always lo learning. I'm always growing. We're, that's just who we are. But I do know this. I do know we can get results. And I know we have some incredible mentors. We have some incredible trainers and teachers um, that in the network that we're a part of and so many great coaches that coach us and that we pull from and we learn from a lot of our friends. And so we're able to make an impact as we go out there in the world and help serve some other people. So look, whatever it is that you're doing, here's the deal. If you're a personal trainer, if you're a nutritionist, if you're a dentist, I don't care what you are, master your craft and find out how can I add more value than anybody else has into, that, into your client or your customer's life. As soon as you learn how to do that, you can have experiences like this. You get to have, I mean, how cool. Think about this, men. All you men out there, think about this. How cool do you think it felt to tell your wife <laughs> we have all expense paid trip to Miami when it was cold as shit where we were. It's 80 <laughs> degrees here. We have all expenses paid, flight, airfare, um, that's the same thing. <laughs> and you know, your room. And I mean, look again, this isn't just an ordinary room. I mean, it is, but I mean, it's just beautiful. So how many of you men out there want to take care of your girl, your queen, mm -hmm. by the gifts that you have? Here's what I believe. I'm going to put this bag down. Let me put this down. Here's what I believe. I believe we have an abundant God, and I, have a, I believe that our God wants us to go out there and take our skills, take our knowledge, become the best version of ourselves, and go out and bless so many other people. I will tell you, if you would have said 10 years ago, maybe even five years ago, that I would be getting flown down to Miami, all expenses paid, to take my wife with me included, and have everything paid for and being able to make a massive impact, I wouldn't have believed you. I wouldn't have believed you. But it's, I'll tell you, it felt damn good to say, babe, would you like to go to Miami all expenses paid? It felt good to do that. And here's my hope. My hope is that you take this video and you, you take it to heart. That you go out there and you master your craft. If you're in network marketing, become the best damn network marketer you can be. If you're a personal trainer, become the best trainer. Find out how to leverage your time. If you're in internet marketing, learn how to master marketing. Become the best you can be. And as you go out there, help other people become somebody who adds more value, who goes above and beyond. Because here's what I know. A lot of people, they don't go above and beyond. They do the bare minimum. If you, people can feel your heart, that's rare nowadays. If people could feel that you really care about them and you're not, you're not just a client or a number or a customer, they notice that because this world's starving for that. And? And I'll <coughs> say that sometimes the biggest enemy lives in our own mind. So the only thing really stopping you from getting from where you are now to where you want to be is that voice inside of your head telling you you can't do it, telling you who do you think you are, you're not good enough. And so I'd invite you to question those thoughts and don't believe every single thought that crosses your <clears throat> mind because you are enough, you are worth it, and you can do anything that you set your mind to. There are some people on this video right now that I know personally that have they're in a specific profession and they're a great individual, they're great people and they're really good at what they do. And so what I'm gonna say, and I wanna breathe life into you and say that you deserve this. You deserve to be you know, traveling the world with your family or living comfortable with your family or taking care of your relatives however you want where money's not an option. And this isn't a rant about, you know, go out there and make more money. And this is about go out there and serve more people. If you can add more value than anybody else in your industry and add mo more value than anyone can expect from you or they 
what they do expect, you go above and beyond that. The money will come. The experiences will come. And so one of the biggest things I'll share, and then we'll wrap up here, <clears throat> is that I'm learning, you know, for many years I was broke. I, had, I was living in $30,000 debt. Christina could tell you, you know, just saving my pennies, right? Mm -hmm. And um, just being frugal. And by the way, being frugal is not a bad thing. We're super frugal. <laughs> in fact, I'll be honest, yeah, I'll be honest. From most of the billionaires that I read about and I learn about, they're frugal. And they don't collect money, even though they have a ton of it. It's not about the money. What they're about, they're just ordinary people just like me and you. But what they collect is experiences, mm -hmm. memories. And that, I believe, is the most valuable thing that we can have. You know, after we, uh, we wrap up, um, I, Christina leaves on Tuesday, goes back to the Bay Area for a week, and then I'm flying back up to Jersey. And I will tell you, the number one thing I'm looking forward to outside of seeing my family, I, you know, I don't care about Christmas. I, I mean, it's fun. I just, I love being back home and seeing some of my friends. You know, there's uh, my buddy Jim Cannon. He, his parents do a uh, they do a holiday party on Christmas Eve every year. And you know, some years I I haven't been able to make it because I wasn't home or whatnot. But it's one of the most favorite things that I memories that I have around Christmas because a lot of the guys and girls come over and now they're fat. They have kids and their family, and I and they just. You know, just getting to see everyone and seeing how life's changing for all of us. I mean, that's what I collect. You know, if you go into our place, which most of it's in storage right now, but if you do, you know, we, we hardly have anything. We don't even have furniture, right? We don't collect that stuff. We're not, it's not the materialistic stuff. There's a quote by Lisa <clears throat> Nichols, and she says, it's not about the money. It's about the experiences that money can buy. And that's something I live by. Like I strive and strive and what motivates me is to be able to say yes and provide things for my family and have these amazing experiences. So it's not about the money, but we do live in a time space reality where it takes money to <coughs> have experiences. So. so I'm just grateful that we have this experience, that we can create memories together. I mean, you know, think about it. Where would you be? If you didn't master your craft, if you didn't become so good in what you do, sorry, she's putting it down, <laughs> right? Where would you be? So this isn't a plea for you to go out and make more money. This is a plea for you to go out there and master your craft, become the best version of you so that you can have some of these great experiences. You know, again, I, I can't, I can't, I can't say it enough that I'm so grateful not just that my client was able to, you know, extend something like this. Would you stop it? His hands all in the video. That's okay. He's, Your he's head's in the video. <laughs> what? My hands like this? Dude. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just touching. <laughs> she, see, see what I go through. See this? She's just like, Whoosh, stop that shit. I'm like, I. But anyway, we're great. I'm grateful. I know she's grateful that we get to have this experience. And so we're going to spend the next five days here collecting memories, making memories, you know, when we have to put together some of our things that we're doing here with my client, we're going to rock with it and it's going to be fun. And we're going to just have a blast. We're going to have a party with it all, mm -hmm. but you can have this too. You can have, you don't have to be a billionaire. You don't have to be a millionaire to go out there and collect experiences. Some of your greatest experiences are right down the street from you. And that's called your family. You know, I love, I love thinking about, you know, we're up with Christina's family and I love just being able to wake up and go for a run and 40 degree weather but seeing the you know the colored trees and and then coming home to the puppy and and her and then the whole family coming over watching the raider game i get it the raiders ah, right <laughs> <clears throat> but anyway i just love that and so these are the memories that i collect and so we're going to collect some this weekend too so if uh we're gonna wrap up here but if you're tuning in i'm going to give you one last tour of where we are i want to say one more thing before oh, we okay. sign off so being on these videos is a little outside of my comfort zone and the reason that I like to share is because 
I used to work a nine to five job. I felt like I had a freaking ball and chain and I'm someone who craves freedom. So I made a bold step and I discovered what things really feed my spirit. And then I asked myself a really important question. How can I make money doing what I love? And I would ask myself that question every day and I would take time every day to do what it was that feeds my spirit. And here I am now, a few years later, living my freaking dream. And so, what feeds your spirit? What could you do all day, every day, and not get paid for it? Do more of that. Right. And then maybe ask yourself an empowering question. How can I get paid to do what I love? And that's what we call Master Life by Design. That's right. And so, become the best, <laughs> Steve's, you know, dropping stuff. Become the best version of you. Whatever it is that you do, you know, if you're a mommy, you're a stay-at-home mommy. Become the best mommy you can be. Maybe people come to you for, you know, advice on how to be a good mother. Think about it when, you know, some of you that are watching, you might have kids right now, and think about the first time you had your child. Maybe you were a little freaked out. Maybe you didn't know, like, hey, you know, how do I be a good mom? What's that look like? And you went to other people. Well, what if you could write a book about it? What if you could start a blog or a video about it? You know, how many moms would love, you know, there's women out there, they have a ton of money, and but they've never been a mom before. And so, since they've never been a mom, if you're this expert, they'll fly you in. They'll, they'll want you to come and help or show them or teach them how to do what you do. So, this message is about you becoming the best version of you. So, I'm going to wrap up. We're going to wrap up, but I want to share with you where we are. We'll give you one last tour. Um, <laughs> I hope that uh, there never goes through. All right, Steve's being uh, ridiculous now. <laughs> so anyway, we're here in, let me shift this around. We're here in Miami. Christina and I, she's going to start to unpack. She's got a nice cool little room. I think it's filtered water. It's filtered water, whatever. <laughs> anyway, we've got a nice little balcony out here. I'll share with you. Some of you. I locked it. So good old Miami, South Beach. Some of you, you have the lifestyle you desire. Some of you are living your dream. That doesn't mean that you have to be a millionaire. All that means is that you're fulfilled and that's what life's about. Are you emotionally rich? Are you doing what, you're lo what you love and can you get paid for it? And if you are, I think you're winning the game of life. Outside of being married to the love of your life, which is this woman to me. Outside of being married to the love of your life, I think if you're having these emotionally ex uh, charged experiences where you're totally fulfilled in what you're doing, I think you've won the game of life. Because money's not, you know, money comes and goes. Time is something you can never get back. Experiences or something you can never get back. One of the lessons that I'm learning, you know, this this is stretching me, this trip. Even though it was all expenses paid, it's stretching the hell out of me. And so it just makes me want to become even better than what I already am. And I know I have a group, a network of people, a network of coaches that will hold me to a high standard and certain people that will keep pushing me to become better. And I appreciate them, even when it's hard to hear, even when it's difficult to hear that I can improve in this way or that way, right? So anyway, I'm learning that experiences, don't go cheap on them. You know, I'll tell you, one of my, one of my mentors who've, who's literally never went cheap is my buddy Brian James. <clears throat> he's never went cheap. He's always done things first class. And he's always stretched me. He always, even when I was young and didn't know, you know, about wealth mentality or, you know, the, how to have, you know, exceptional experiences, he stretched me. So hopefully tonight I'm stretching you. Stretching you to become the best version of yourself to go out and add more value than anybody else in your industry. Become the best that you can be, master your skill set. So, with that, I'm going to go out. I'm going to, well, not go out. I'm going to wrap up. We're here in Miami for the next couple days, enjoying the weekend. I think I fly up to Jersey on Wednesday, and then I'm home for about two weeks there. 
get to spend some time with my family and friends. I really am excited about that. What are you smiling? Look, hold on. What's she? Let me. What are you chuckling at, girl? It's a Temptation <clears throat> Lover's Kit wow. that you can buy. I'm not going to say what's on it. I'll let people read for themselves. Let's see what's on there. I can't even read it. Wow. <laughs> All I can see is a vibrating ring. This is done. We are done. So, <laughs> so anyway, I hope you guys have a great rest of your evening. We're going to get wrapped up. We're going to unpack. We're going to go enjoy ourselves, maybe grab some dinner. There's actually uh, Javier Garcia is coming tomorrow night. I have no clue who he is, but he's playing downstairs. There's some uh, band down there now playing some great soft music. So I think we're going to go grab a drink and uh, just listen and uh, you know spend some quality time with my wife and uh, enjoy our life. This is what we call life by design. This is what I call zig and zag. Time to zag or zig. <laughs> she brought all our meals with us on the plane today. Here, here's the bag. She she meal prepped our meals. Although it's pretty much empty. So anyway, we love all you guys. Remember, you can have whatever it is that you want. The experiences, the time, the freedom, the money, whatever it is. You know, it's not always about the money. Whatever you want, you can have it if you're willing to put the work in, if you're willing to master your craft. So with that, Joe and Christina Moffitt. There she is. Team Moffitt. We hope you can uh, enjoy the rest of your evening. Have a great weekend. We love you all. Enjoy. See you guys.